Uh, one is what do we want to do this April when it is officially our anniversary? And when do we want to do our big celebration in 2022? So let's start with April. And at our last meeting, we had talked about the possibility of doing a parade along the lines of the Santa parade, meaning a uh, vehicle parade rather than a marching parade. And John, you have talked, oh, here's Ashley. Um, you've yeah. talked to your crew and have thoughts? Yeah, I sent you, I sent you the flyer. I think I sent you the flyer, didn't I, So. Yeah. Okay. Um, we talked to the firefighters in there. They would like to, um, it's not sponsored, it's not the right word, coordinate a uh, motor parade. And we talked about it and we decided that um, April 4th, 24th would be the right day because that's two day days Saturday. Okay. That's two days before our birthday. Uh, we thought that three o'clock in the afternoon would be as good as any. And we decided Saturday instead of Sunday because if, it's, if we have a nasty rainy day, we can actually postpone it to Sunday without a big problem, I think. Um, what else did we decide? I remember. Uh, I think we'll, uh, we wanted a consensus of this committee before we actually went ahead and started some, uh, some plans. Um, it was brought up that maybe we should, we should make uh, a float and do some advertising. I don't, I'm not sure who else would do the advertising, but uh, you know, at least some signs and put it out on Facebook that it's, it's there. That's all we do for the uh, Christmas parade. So um, a couple of banners. So they, they were thinking they probably wanted to get some money. We can okay. probably get you some money. You got any, Fred? We've got a little <laughs> bit. We, okay. We've got about we've got about seven thousand dollars in the bank right now. We won't spend it all. <laughs> okay, that's good. But the firefighters <laughs> also thought that they were going to they'd make a uh, float of some sort. I don't, I'm not sure what he had what my captain has in mind, but he's usually okay. pretty ingenious when it comes to that. I suggested a birthday cake, but <laughs> <laughs> now where we can get one cheap. Well, so what will, are you? You can't you, you can't drag it down the road though. Yeah, that's true. What are you describe for the group what you envision this would look like? What types of things would be in the parade? Uh, organizations and businesses. If they have a float, they have they make a float. I don't know if people would really have time to make a float, or I mean the organizations, you know, the fire trucks, uh, police, EMS. Uh, if somebody wanted to make a float from the school, I mean, there's plenty of wagons around and trailers around that you could put people on. I don't, you know, you can't, there's obviously has to be a motor parade. So, um, I, I don't know what they, whatever they want to make. I mean, we, we can put the dump trucks in it from the highway department or, you know, uh, the antique fire trucks can come out uh, and then we'd travel across town. We also decided today that we should wait and figure out how many people we have registered before we decide what our route is. Because if we have a long parade, we have a couple of, on the, holiday, on the Christmas parade, we have a couple areas that would be too tight to put a longer parade. Okay, yep, that makes sense. Like North Street and the North End of River Road. But we can do without without using those two streets, so. Can, can we coordinate with the police so that if we, you know, so we can use roads, you know, sort of shut them down for a few minutes? Yeah, absolutely. I just, on the, holiday, on the Christmas parade, we use, you know, they put two cruisers on Route 5 and we just go right through. I mean, you're, <laughs> you're traveling 15 or 20 miles an hour. What are they, 10 miles? I don't know if that, we didn't, we didn't have, we don't have people pro, a problem with people passing us. I mean, they, the other way is, and we're not tying up the roads that long. It's not like we're, we're not going down Route 5. So. Mm -hmm. We talked a little bit too, John, about people what? who have classic cars and antique cars and stuff in Waitley. You know, they may want to put some of those in the parade. Just some 
a different, mm -hmm. a few different things in the parade just to make mm -hmm. it a little bit longer. They may even be somebody who wants to put a, a, a band, a musical entry on the back of a truck or yep. back of a trailer and put it in the parade. You know, yep. we're in the beginning stages, all these ideas have been kicking around. So, mm -hmm. awesome. <clears throat> Um, as far as as far as anti cars, um, you might want to. Uh, well, I, I can get in contact with CVR, which is the anti car club, uh, and we might invite some of them to just join us. You know, I imagine at this time of year they're looking at any excuse just to get out. So I mean that would. We could get in contact with them. My um, my sister belong. My mother and sister belong as well as my brothers. So um, there are uh, we could contact them and uh, you know maybe ask them if they would like to join a, join the parade. The only the only we're trying to limit limit this to organizations and businesses that are in Waitley. Oh, okay. So, I mean, it, it obviously wouldn't eliminate your sister if she wanted to drive her antique car. In that right. And, yeah. Okay, that's fine. But I, I mean, it, we're, this is just we're just beginning on this, and we wanted to get the approval of this committee before we actually had a meeting of the members in the fire station and figure out what we want to do. But okay. like I, we we had this discussion that we probably won't design a route until like the first of April when we figure out whether we have. 20, 30, 50 units in the parade. We put 50 units in the parade. We gotta, we gotta coordinate and you know the, the lineup area and all that other stuff has been has to be taken into consideration. Have you thought about whether there would be an entry fee? I'm thinking we nope. may want to have a minimal fee, so even like you know, 20 bucks or something, just so that if people commit to do it, we, we have a better firm number of how many people actually will we had we hadn't discussed any of that but i i would say no to that but i just just because um that means a lot of the a lot of the if i put four fire trucks in there does that mean i have to it couldn't cost the town of whaley four hundred dollars no i i think we we have areas that are exempt to that i'm just i it's not even that we want the money, it's that I don't want to have people sign up and then not show up if we're planning based I, I don't, on- Susan, I don't think it would be a big deal. We would just like move them ahead in the lineup. Okay, then fine. I mean, there, there, would, there would be no announcer. It'd be just like the police, the holiday parade. It's just, you're gonna do a drive-by. I mean, we, I hadn't thought about an announcer, but we might be, we might do that too, I don't know. Before we put this to a vote, any questions? Yeah, I have a question. Do we have some idea about, I mean, the thing that makes this different from a parade that we could not have safely is that we're not having um, everybody gather in one part of town having a short route, right? So there should be some understanding that those who are putting trucks or floats in are gonna be, um, following whatever is the advice at the time from the state and from the CDC regarding masking and distancing and so on. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think if that's not understood, I wanna make sure that it is uh, understood that it, it was nice, it's fine to make it be longer and longer, but um, like someone said a float from the school and like, I don't know how that's gonna be socially distant and safe, but, um, but I, I, I just want to make sure that that is, is something that people are thinking about when they're asking about people joining, um, joining a parade like that. No, absolutely. Safety I is did, the I did important. talk to Fran, and Fran's on board. Mm -hmm. um, and I, yeah, I but he's probably not on board for like a back of a truck full of sixth graders with no masks, right? Right. Well, like, you know, right. okay. the, I, I started a, a, a rule of guidelines for the parade people, mm -hmm. the, the people that put in a parade. And, and one of them is it'd be so social distancing and masks are required. Yeah. I mean, okay, um, good. I'm, I think I'm that's, not, I'm uh... not going to be the mask cop. I'm sorry. <laughs> but because I will have both my shots by then. So 
I'm not going to be the mask guy. Uh, I'm not going to be the, the mask cop. Okay. So, um, but we will put them out there and it will be posted that that's what your job is. And I think when people sign on to participate, we have to have some sort of sign up so we know how many yeah. people are doing it anyway. When people sign on, they sign on to agree to these terms. Yeah, that I think yeah. I'd be I'd be happier if that was actually explicitly in writing that this is something that is expected. I mean, if we keep the expectation. <laughs> yeah. John's Sorry, already you, got you, it. Know, you could Sorry send there. that to me. You could email it or something. But I'm just bringing well, it up because if you're not going to be the mask cop, John, and you're not wearing a mask, I don't know how to get anybody else to wear a mask. I will. I will wear a yeah. mask. We can. I think we, we can have to require get to everyone. Take their cars everyone. off at the jump, you know. Yeah. We, we can be able to get people who just want our, our dump attendants to, to breathe all their fumes, you know. Uh, so, so, so I, I, you misunderstood, John. You misunderstood, John. He just said he will wear a mask. He's just not going to enforce other people to wear masks. Is that okay. correct, John? And if John's not going to enforce it, who is? I think we can enforce it at the start of the parade. There'll be a staging area. But if and... John's not going to enforce it, who well, is? We'll... Okay, that's... You can. Not John personally. I'm but... not, I'm not going to be in the parade. I may even not see it. Why? Well, I... I should... but you're still I a select, think... major, select person, Joyce? Yes, you I will am. get an invitation, and you should be there. Uh, I, I perhaps I will try. I, but I, I, we, we need a mech, We need that something in writing uh, from people that says they're going to comply. Yeah, I think that's a really good first start, and you can keep that expectation there, and and that may be the best we can do. But I'm really worried if John is not willing to tell somebody, "Hey, put on your mask." you promised, here's that form in writing that you promised. I'm a little worried about that. Well, we will get somebody who will enforce it. We don't have to solve that now. So I see a couple hands up, Sarah. Um, John had said something about possibility of an answer. I'm not saying anything, but has any, is, does anybody know of a radio station that where we could, I think I heard something about another town did it, didn't Hatfield do it? Have it also done over the local radio station when they did some of their stuff? We can look into that. I'm not, I, I'm not sure. Yeah, I mean, for the people idea. who can't join, if we do have a station with an announcer, say, hey, and here's whoever, whoever polka band on the back of a 1952, whatever, whatever. Or, hey, look at this antique tractor that was redone by whatever, whatever. Anyway. We can look into Just that. Just to go along with that for a bigger community, and it's also a safe way to do it. Mm -hmm. We could do we could do some sort of Facebook live <laughs> live feed yeah. or live cast or something. Oh, nice! Yeah, yeah. If, if we could do some sort of streaming thing, have someone video this and put it up on YouTube afterwards, but uh, you know, have the video going live at that point. Okay, Fred, I see your <laughs> you've got yes. your hand up. I'd like to offer some several comments that I've been thinking about and some kind of relating to the, to the select board. Uh, April 26th is our inauguration day. I guess that's the actual day that occurs on a Monday. And the select board, I would say, is considering holding our uh, bi-monthly uh, meeting on that Monday instead of on a Wednesday. If we do that on a, on a Monday, uh, I've got several ideas, maybe what could happen on that day. And, and that could be a day to advertise if you, do the, if you do the parade that weekend rather than before, uh, you may get more publicity that way for the parade. Plus if the, if the newspaper is there uh, watching our parade or uh, watching our meeting or it's on YouTube, more people will be uh, aware of what's going on for the parade on the, on the weekend. So maybe it's better to do it at the weekend. Uh, the other thing where, where this is just my, uh, my ideas right now, it, it hasn't come up with the select board yet. Uh, other than that meeting on April 26th, like I said, we haven't decided, but uh, the other thing that and I mentioned at that meeting is 
getting a proclamation from the state like we did in 71, uh, proclaiming uh, the 250th anniversary of the town of Whateley. Uh, either your committee could do that or I guess select board in conjunction with, with the town administrator could get that from, from Boston. That could be read at the April 26th meeting because that would be the day to, to do that. The other, other option to, to read that would be to ask uh, Joe Comerford and Natalie Blaze to be part of it at that, on that day. Uh, they're coming to our meeting, our select board meeting this Wednesday. I guess we could ask them if they're interested or ask them to keep that date open if that's something that we wish to proceed with on April 26th. So they would be there uh, read the proclamation if they want or, and say a few words uh, about Waitley. Uh, and that maybe would be a, a good time for the, your 250th committee. I don't know how many members you exactly have to be at that select, be at that meeting, April 26th, kind of as a kickoff meeting, say, here's our committee, here's who we are, kind of, if you want to give an overview of what's going on and not going on or, or, or whatever. I mean, that would be an opportune time for the 250th committee to come together on April, April 26th. Uh, and then I thought to, to involve more, more people in town for, for that meeting would be maybe to ask the department heads to participate because we have, I don't know, 10 or 12 department heads and, and say uh, for a minute or two, what is what is what is Waitley done in the last fifty years in your department? What has Keith done for highways? Uh, not everything, but one or two major things. You know, Haydenville Road, uh, Masterson Road, things like that. Or we started a water department, uh, looking water merger, things like that to to say more of what the community has done for the last fifty years and to involve more people in into a, a meeting. Uh, and, and that, that would give us some things to talk about on, the, on April 26th. Uh, and you could even, one other thought you could put in uh, for your parade uh, is, I think, was it the Milk Bottle? Is the band that has that song, the Waitley what, 01093 song, that you could play that on the parade route, I guess, if you wanted some entertainment some something to, to go go along with uh, with a float or something you could ask them either to play it or get a recording of it and just keep playing it continuously okay and the other thing I thought of I don't know how many people know that May 10th was the first annual town meeting of the town I saw this in a in a report the other day, I was looking at some old stuff. I tried to find it again, but I, I don't know where I saw it, but maybe Lynn or somebody verify if you want. But May 10th was the first annual town meeting that this town had. May 10th occurs on a Monday. That would be the same week as select board meeting, which is on, on that Wednesday. Uh, we're tentatively looking for an annual town meeting this coming year in June sometime. I uh, would have to ask Brian and the board if, if we could move that up and, and make it on May 10th if we wanted, that's, that's, that's an option. Uh, if we're not ready and don't wanna do that, I thought maybe on May 10th, we could still have some kind of program, uh, again, supported with, with your committee on uh, asking the, the town boards and, and committees to make a brief presentation. You know, the, the two weeks before we'd have the town departments do it on the 26th and on May 10th have the, the committees say something uh, in response to the, in support of the 250th. Again, to get more town boards, organizations, committees involved in the celebration. So uh, there were things that I thought I would I like to mention to, to your committee and, and I, I guess you decide 
what you want to do, if you want to do any of that, uh, we can talk about it at a select board meeting if you want this week or in two weeks. Uh, I, I guess that's that's up to you. If, if you so have, we've we've got a lot to consider then. Yes, we. It, it sounds like there there are now three events to talk about, and we should talk about them separately. One is the parade. One is the April twenty sixth select board meeting, right. and one is the May tenth date. Let's focus on the parade for the moment. Um, any other questions or discussion on the parade in general? Let me leave it at that. Any other questions or discussion on the parade? Ashley. I, yeah, I just wanna say one thing that whenever it's a go to reach out to, to, to find participants, I can put that out across social media. I'll just need to know um, where to send people, like who that contact is, or if there's an email address or whatever for folks. <laughs> John raised to. his hand. So I, fig I figured it'd be you, but <laughs> I just want to make sure I'm sitting Great. people to the right place. Great. Anything else on the parade? Okay. Well, John, you had proposed doing the parade April 24th. Um, Fred suggested we wait a week until after the 26th event. Do people have strong preferences between those two dates. I'm, I'm gonna kick it off. I'm gonna say my feeling, my preference would be to keep it on the 24th because the 24th, you know, then, then we're talking about in effect a three day of a you know, three day period of the 24th leading into the 26th. It's easier to promote it all together if the dates are close together. And it doesn't feel like the select board meeting has to happen before the parade, hopefully we're going to be able to get the word out well. Is the following Saturday in May? Yeah. It is. It's May first. That'd be May Day. Yeah. Uh, the only reason we picked April twenty fourth because it was the closest Saturday to May April twenty sixth. That's the only reason we picked that. Okay. Before we vote on the date, all in favor of proceeding or asking John to proceed with the parade. And then we'll figure out the date on the next vote. All in favor, raise your hand. You need to do, you have to do a roll call vote because it's a Zoom meeting. Oh, okay. Keith, I'm doing it the order you're in the little boxes on my screen. Keith. I'm in favor. Me, I'm in favor. Fred Orlowski. Can I vote? I'm not a committee member. Oh, okay, good point. John? Yes. In favor. Brenda? In favor. Adelia? Yes. Joyce? Yes. Bill? Yeah. Zach? Yes. Fred Barron? Yes. Chris? Ash Ashley? Yes. Sarah? Lisa? Yes. Allison? Yep. Okay, so unanimously, John, you are authorized to work with your compatriots okay. for a parade. Obviously, we are here in whatever way we can assist with this. And as I'm saying that, I'm looking at Ashley's picture, not that I'm volunteering Ashley, but mm -hmm. Ashley can get the word out. You don't have to worry about that aspect if you partner with Ashley. Okay. Do we also have a... Um a um, scoop coming out between now and then that we could advertise, put the, the word out in. Perfect. Yeah. The, um, oh, I have to look up the date. Susan might have it. Um, you told me that we, I needed week, to but get it's the last article, Wednesday but... of, there's the last Wednesday of February yeah. is the next scoop deadline. And that comes out the first week of March. Yep. So I need, we need to get you the information by the 24th. So John, I would want to work with you on that. Okay. Our, your deadline would be the 23rd, so I can turn it around for the 24th to get it to Joyce. Perfect. Good, okay. Any other discussion on that before we next vote will be on which date? So the two dates being presented are April 24th and May 1st. Any other dates people wanna consider? Let's go backwards. Allison. 
Uh, uh, can we discuss yes. it? Yes. Oh, oh sorry, can we discuss sorry. it before we vote oh, on yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because I think only two people got to say anything about it. Oh, definitely. Uh, absolutely. Um, I, I, uh, I think it should be the 26th. I think May Day has a whole different connotation to it. Um, and if that ha event happening on the 24th means more people come to the select board meeting on the 26th, hallelujah. I don't know that the select board meeting will be something that improves people's interest in the parade. Um, mm -hmm. I think, uh, I, and, and I'd like that it's closer to the actual date and kind of as close as we can get and still do this on a, a weekend and have, like John said, the possibility of a rain date for the Sunday. Okay, other, Brenda. I agree. I agree, I think the 24th would be a better date being on the weekend the closest. And, um, you know, I, I, I just think, you know, and having like Josh said, the rain date and everything else. And I think we can get out enough, uh, you know, media and everything else, enough pub, um, publicity prior to the parade to have it come off securely and not have an announcement at the um, select board meeting. Okay. Other comments? The only reasons I, I see for going with the later date is one, we're not going to be on a tight schedule anyway. It gives us an extra week of prep time. And two, it might be better weather, but I would still prefer the 24th as closer to the 26th date. Okay. Other comments? Ashley. I like the optics of keeping it in April. <laughs> that's, my, that's my only argument. Fine. Other comments? So we put this to a vote. So you're voting a, the April date versus the May date, April 24th versus May 1st. And I'm gonna go backwards this time. So I'm starting with Allison. Sure, April. Lisa? April. Sarah? April. Ashley? April. Chris? You're muted. Press your space bar. Is anybody good at re April? Okay, I was trying to read lips. Fred, <laughs> Baron. A April. Zach. April. Bill. April. Joyce. April. Adelia. April. Brenda. April. John. April. I vote for April. Keith. April. Good. Okay. So, John, is there anything else you need out of us right now, knowing that you can get whatever you need from us as you move forward? I don't think so. I think that's good. Good. Okay. I, then I want to go back to the two other things that Fred raised very quickly. The April 26th select board meeting. <clears throat> Fred, you had said that the select board is going to be meeting in the next couple of weeks to discuss that. So I'm not sure at this point there's anything for us to, to decide on until the select board figures out what you wanna do. Is that, yep. is there anything you need from us at this point? Yeah, just, um, just to kind of, to clarify, cause not everybody's been here at every meeting um, for events. Well, we've not, we've not done a thing where we tell everybody, hey, tell us your ideas and we'll implement them. It's always been bring your ideas that you're willing to be leaders on and we will support you. Mm -hmm. So I feel in a sense that you're, you're right on target. If the select board wants to do something special with their meetings in conjunction with the 250th anniversary, then that's up for the select board to do, and this committee would support them. Right. That's, I, so I, I, I just want to um, fill in that background on yeah. the, uh, when people bring ideas to us, it's not like, this is a place to dump your ideas and see if anybody else picks them up. 
this is the place you bring ideas for things that you want to do. And then we try to support. So I think yeah. you're spot on. Okay, thank you. Yeah, for those who have not been involved throughout, that was a de decision we made early on because otherwise people would be bringing a lot of ideas to us and we would be scrambling to get them done and look how few of us there are. We can't do everything. So we want to do those things that we choose to do. We took you know, some suggestions er very early on, but that was to get us started. So. Joyce, if you're willing to you know, continue that philosophy with the select board, that would be fantastic because we are, there's, that's very, I mean, we all fit on one screen on a Zoom call. That means there's not a lot of us. Yeah. Good. Okay. And then for May, I'm going to put May 10th in that same category of until the select board decides what's going on, including annual meeting. I don't think there's anything we really can discuss right now. Any disagreement? Okay, then I wanted to get to the other really big topic. But if, if I, before, before we move on, if I can get one other point that Fred brought up, and that is, Susan, either you or someone else commit to contacting Joe and Natalie to get a proclamation and get their involvement. Yes, yes, that I think we can take on. They, they've been very, they were very responsive earlier when asked about money. There's no reason they won't continue to be. I mean, I'm more than happy to do that, but I also feel like that needs to come from the select board for the select board, board to decide that it's appropriate for this body to do it rather than for the select board to do it. It's, the select board will do that, and hopefully this this week. We're meeting with them in two days, so. Okay. Then if there's anything you need from this committee to support that, let us know. But for the time being, I don't think we can act on anything until the select board knows what it's going to be. Yeah, I just be. want to make sure that that got put into motion. Yeah, we would do that. I brought it up because I didn't know if you were already thinking of that, and we're going to go ahead with it, but. It sounds like you're not, so the select board will do that. Okay, we just hadn't we haven't gotten that far. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. June well, 2022. I'm not even going to assume that it's June. We have to we decided in our last meeting that we wanted to wait and do the celebration we want to have, and our feeling is that is in 2022 rather than do less than we want to do in 2021. I'm not opening that can again. We are now looking at 2022. That, unless anybody really argues with me, can I state that as a given? We, if we want to do what we had talked about doing initially, which is a week to 10 day time period, for all of the celebrations? I guess that's my first question. Do we want to still look at a week to 10 day intense period versus period, you know, doing things throughout the year? Obviously things like the Snowmobile Club, Snowmobile Club is at a different season than Family Day, but for the most part, anybody disagree with continuing our plan of a week to 10 days. I take that as we're all on board with that. Yeah. We yeah you're not talking about forbidding things to happen outside of that time frame when that's appropriate, but aim for a big crescendo and let yes. other events happen at appropriate times. I think. Yeah, exactly. And that, you know, hence my point about the snowmobile club, if they want to do something in February, fantastic but we will focus our energy on, I'm gonna call it a week, a week plus <clears throat> at some point. Okay, we need to nail down a date because we need to start reserving things. My expectation is the dam is going to burst once enough people are vaccinated and there go, there's going to be demand on a lot of the, the fireworks companies, the food trucks we were thinking of for family day, 
all of the, I'm gonna call them vendors. So I would love to get on their calendars as soon as we can to hold the dates we want. Any disagreement? Uh, or I just feel we should still look for, in my, this is my personal opinion, we should still be looking in the same time, time frame in the month of June. Um, once you start getting further into the July and August, then you're dealing with everybody going away on vacations. I, I mean, grant you, we're, we should be, we're hoping COVID is a thing of the past by then. And people have returned back to normal and they're traveling in the summer months. And so that's, that's, that's how we sort of came about the June timeframe to begin with. And that's when it was done in 1971. And it was a, it was a tremendous success in 1971, having it in June. Does anybody want to propose a different month than June? Because it helps us if we narrow a month and then we can pick a week. Anybody make a case for any other months? Our initial discussion was, as Keith said, later in the summer, people go away. Earlier in the year, weather can be an issue. I mean, weather can always be an issue, but we're trying to optimize that. Okay. Yeah, if we I'm are looking meeting, um, thanks for your time. Thank you, Fred. We appreciate you joining us. If we are looking at weekends in the month of June, Brenda. Um, um, is she hung up? Who? Brent, Brenda? Yes. Uh, generally, weather is good around the full moon. So when would be the full moon in June of 22? I'll see if Google knows that. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm working on. I do want to Not add also, It tends to be better around the full moon. That's interesting. I do want to add also that school usually lets out by the second week of June. So I would say after maybe the 11th mm -hmm. um, of that of that month would be yeah. the place to target. Okay, well, we're so getting I, there I, because I wanna... the 14th is the full moon in June of 2022. Perfect. Thank you. Um, one of the things that we ran into when we were talking about 2021 was if we waited too late in June, we lost school participation. We lost, potentially could lose the band, could you, could lose um, PTO. The, the school structure isn't there once school is out. Also, as soon as school is out, people might go away. And speaking of pent up demand, I can imagine vacations in 2022 are gonna be amazing because people will not have gone away the two summers before that. So if we are looking at the weekends in June, I'm gonna read off Saturdays, 4th, 11th, 18th, and 25th. The full moon is on a Tuesday, so that's between the 11th and the 18th. I would propose the earlier, either the 4th or the 11th, to make sure school's still in, in session and can participate. How would, it be if we, how would it be if we started like on the Friday the 10th and ran through that week and maybe either end on the 18th or the 19th? That's what My I concern is by the 18th, 19th school may be out, so we may lose. Well, maybe we do, do we have a problem if we conflict with, graduate, with school graduation? Ah. Is usually, graduation usually um, the graduations are like the first weekend in June, right? Mm. That's usually a weeknight. It's usually, usually a Friday weekend. night. Friday night. Right. Friday night. Isn't it? Are yeah. we talking about elementary graduation? I'm I'm thinking high school. High school, they graduate May. in May, don't they? No. No, first week of June. Well, it's that first week of June. We're out of that. So if we start on the 10th, yes. 
Um, I guess I'm not as worried about it. I don't, well, who really knows? But if we schedule this and let the word get out and we have it reasonably close, but not necessarily within the school year, because I think also that end of the school year time is really busy for people if they're involved in the schools. So it might actually be better to just, you know, not, not worry about having it be during school because that, you know, there's events at night every night that are going to be competing with us and that sort of thing. Um, but if we get the word out, then maybe people will delay their vacations for a week to come. And the other thing we were looking at in the past was, you know, inviting people who might come and make this a part of their vacation, come to Waitley, who, who lived here before, have some connection. So I, I don't that think- same mind, Joyce. Yeah, I, I don't think we, I remember when I was a parent that last week of school, there was just so much stuff going on that I could not have put something else on my plate, no matter what. So I- When do I, we think is the last week of school? I'm looking up their calendar for this year to see if I can- Yeah, yes. yeah, that would help, thank you. Yeah, because it's a little hard to predict because you can't predict the snow days. Right. But it's usually halfway into June. And I think that's why we had picked the period we did in 2021 was near the end of school, but before people go off for 4th of July weekend. The other date that I'm seeing on my calendar, I don't know how this impacts, is Father's Day is Sunday the 19th. Whether, the, whether that is a pro or a con. I think that'd be fine if that was the last day of our you know, Keith was saying the 10th to the 19th, that having an end on Father's Day would be, would be, I would think be fine, right? Take your dad to the Waitley events. I'm talking to you, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for Ashley to weigh in on when this year's end of the year is. All right. Graduation this year is June fourth, which is the first Friday of the month at in the evening, starting at 7 p.m. Okay. And when does school get out for everybody else? Usually a week or two later at the high school. Yeah. Um, hold on. Let me see if that's actually here. Last day of school is Thursday, June 10th. Right. Because so there's the, no snow days the, when you're doing remote. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the second Thursday in June. Yeah. So that would put us, if we wanted to kind of piggyback, you know, notwithstanding snow days, it would put us for that weekend of the 11th, kicking off maybe Friday night mm -hmm. um, with a concert or something like that, and then going through that week. Remember, we're talking about 2022. Right. But we're, we're just, uh, the best we can do is estimate it based on what the calendar yeah. was this year, because- but Based on that, it sounds like ending on the 19th is our best <coughs> best shot right now. I mean, we could potentially just ask, ask someone at the school. They may already know what their calendar might reflect next year. And then we would have a more educated choice. Hmm. Question for, for Bill, since he's on a school committee, what what usually goes into making up the calendar or the schedule? Some of it revolves around when Labor Day is and there's contact language about when we can start and with the teachers, all of that factors in and we don't usually vote the ca uh, school calendar until July or August. For th This year's is our obviously been voted already. We wouldn't vote, mm -hmm. the, we haven't voted the 22 calendar yet. But yeah. some of those things are a factor. When is Labor Day and uh, those type of things that we usually, we used to still wait to start till after Labor Day. We've started before for the last couple of years and then we've had a long weekend for Labor Day. A lot of those things factor into it. Labor Day will be on the 6th, but I don't I don't think we know how that would impact it one way or the other. Well, if it's that it's late, a little bit late, late for Labor Day. Day so. We'll start school before Labor Day. No. 
Well, we could probably ask. I mean, it might not hurt to ask, but it, it seems to me the 10th to the 19th or, I mean, the one that's actually closest to the date range we picked last time is the 17th through the 26th. Um, we had chosen the range the 18th through the 28th of, for 2021. And then the closest range that matches that would be 17th to the 26th. I might've said one of those dates wrong. Um, if it's starting on a Friday, then 17th to 26th. See, I like that better because we just don't know with the school. And at this point that feels safer although we run the risk of people going away. Okay, well, let, let, let's let them step, know in advance. Let's let step people. back. Do we need, do we need to have it for the same length as we had talked about before? Do we need two weekends? Are we planning the same scale? Um, or are, are we, do we need one weekend? Are there events that we had talked about doing before that won't make as much sense now? Somehow, I would, think, I would like to think that we can pull off, you know, that people will come forward again and get more active and we can pull off the same amount of events that we are hoping to do in 21. Okay. Other points of view? I like having it over two weekends simply because you can kick it off one weekend with a parade or a family day or something that's kind of big and community wide and then end it the following weekend. You could end it on Saturday instead of Sunday. So shorten it a little bit if you, if we felt the need, but, um, the idea of kind of having a whole week with kind of a, you know, choose your own sort of things happening sprinkled throughout. Yeah. Um, I think that's, it feels, it feels bigger. It feels more like a celebration. Mm. Okay. Yeah. And then we don't have to compete with our own events. You know, if we shorten the timeline, um, you know, family day starts conflicting with the art auction or, mm -hmm. um, so it, it, I think it is nice to have a little time to spread it. And we don't have to have something going 24 seven every day, right? Okay, so we are talking about two weekends. The two, we've got the 11th through the 19th, or sorry, the 10th through the 19th, I'm looking at a Friday through Sunday for the moment, versus the 17th through the 26th. Arguments either way? Susan, I gotta just throwing this out there. Deerfields is next year too. No. Are they twenty two or twenty three? Twenty three. Oh, is it? I'm sorry. Um, Any arguments either way? Tenth to nineteenth versus seventeenth to twenty sixth. Hmm. Williamsburg I, is the same years as us, right? Do yes. We have, we have no idea what they're doing. Have contact with Williamsburg? No, we have not. Okay. We yeah, have yeah no they're idea not idea quite they're organized doing. yet. I, that's my understanding. They haven't really quite gotten very organized yet about it. Yeah. So I would say once we do decide what we want, we should let them know if they want to consider that in making their plans, just as a courtesy. Hmm. I don't know. I'm, I, I don't know. I, I can go either way. I, somehow I'm feeling the later week might be uh, a little better to avoid conflicts with events associated with the school towards the end of the school year. And it's still substantially earlier than 4th of July weekend. Um, and, you know, we get the word out and the you know, people who want to be there aren't going to schedule their vacation for the first day after school is out. Possibly warmer weather if we wait another week. Mm -hmm. I'd also like to point out that if you have it the later, you might get more families coming from because their children won't still be in a school situation. Mm. That's a good point, too. Yeah, that's a very good point. Look at us as a, a place to go. Mm, good point. Good point. 
Any argument? So that's a couple of arguments for the later dates. Any arguments for the earlier dates? Then I'm going to put this to a vote if nobody else has comments. Let's see. Um, we'll start in the middle, Chris. You're muted. I think your mouth is saying 17th through 26th, if I'm reading your lips. Okay. Uh, Ashley? I think either would be fine, but I, um, I'm fine to throw my hat in for the 17th through the 26th, the later date. Okay, Sarah? I'm leaning later. Joyce? Uh, later. The Lisa? 17th to 26th. Okay. So the later date. Allison? You're muted if you're talking. Doesn't make any difference to me. Okay. Keith? 17th through 26th. Okay. I say 17th to 26th. John? 17th. Brenda? I guess the 17th. It really doesn't matter to me either way. <laughs> Idelia? The later date's great. Uh, Bill? 17. Zach? 17. Fred? Either is fine. 17th is fine. This is such an agreeable group. Everything's unanimous. Okay. Believe it or not, we have a date. So I am putting in my calendar so that I remember. If I can it. pop in now, if we have a date, Sarah, can you contact the fireworks people and for I guess it's Saturday the 25th. The ending and with a rain date of the 26th. Yeah, I would Got think it. so. I'm... Yeah. I'll but have I just want to make sure that gets done promptly. ASAP. Yep. Okay, I, so also, I also think we can more or less just trans transfer our current or schedule we had for 21 and just sort of use that same outline and put it into 22. What I will do for our next meeting is just what Keith is suggesting. I will mark up the calendar that we had and we can use that as a starting point for discussion of do these dates still make sense or do for some reason, do we need to flip the this with the that? Um, but I can bring that to our next meeting. Excellent. Anything else people want to? Yes. It related fundraising. If in, in connection with this year's parade, if anyone contacts a local business about that, if you can steer, if there's any indication that they would want to contribute more, please have those that business get in touch with me. So that we can work out and you know, try to get a financial contribution out of them. And this also means that now that we've got dates, I will contact the fundraising committee again and let try to get that reactivated because now if we have what seem like firm dates and events. Uh, oh, and all same along the same lines, the as the fireworks, the balloon ride people would need to be booked also. Yeah, I, that, I, I had made arrangements with, with Paul Cena so I can handle that. Okay, it's just the, the big, big things like that we need to make sure we have pinned down. That's it for any, me. Any other business? I had one comment we had briefly mentioned like in our last meeting thinking about something that we could do um town-wide beyond the, the the parade for the incorporation day and if there's something where we could get people to participate in something um and i was thinking about that briefly my initial thought was like what if we did like a paper lantern launch or whatever but 
that's terrible for wildlife and anything like that. So I was trying to think if there was something we could possibly do that could give people an action or something that was an attraction that people could drive by. And I know we talked about possibly moving the 250 sign around town and that could be something. Um, but I don't know if anyone had any ideas around that as a way to just get people to participate. The, the one thing that I thought of is, is if we could somehow figure out a way to have like birthday candles that people could put up in their yards or we had two, 250 birthday candles like in a drive through town or if there's something that we could do that commemorated it just in a very visual way that kind of maybe it lasted a little bit longer than just the one day of the parade or maybe it lasted from the parade until the, the May 10th, you know, the anniversary of our, our first town meeting or something like that. Um, I don't know if anyone else had any thoughts about that or anything, but I wanted to throw the idea out there as just something small that people could do in a, obviously in a COVID safe way um, to, to, to participate in some way to really commemorate uh, the day since we can't have a big celebration that we originally wanted. Mm -hmm. Brenda? Um, for Mardi Gras, they're planning on decorating the homes like floats. Um, I'm wondering something like, you know, along that line where you might, um, with lights or, you know, birthday balloons or, or that type, you know, each individual homeowner who want to participate do some kind of uh, display, you know, it doesn't have to be anything elaborate, but but some kind of display in their yard, uh, even Christmas lights, you know, a, a celebration of lights or something like that. I think that's great because when, you know, when you have like, especially like a child's birthday party, you decorate your house, you put balloons out on your mm -hmm. mailbox and maybe you put up like a banner on your porch or something like that. So that could be, that could actually be something something that people could do with things they already have in their home also. And it would enhance the parade too, you know, to have the whole town decorated it up. Yeah, mm -hmm. that would be really I fun. I like that idea a lot, Brenda. And then I'm thinking you can leverage that after the fact on uh, social media of showing pictures of what how some homes have done. Yeah. Where is the 250 right now? The light, the light display? Still in the center of town on the milk bottle. It's still on the milk bottle, okay. We've just, it's been discussed on moving it out west Waitley for a week or two, or, you know, a time frame, but right at the moment we're dealing with, you know, snow, which we never, we didn't have in January, so it was oh, easy yeah. to move it around, but now. Susan? Mm -hmm. It's at my house. It's not on the milk bottle. Oh. It's been down for a couple of weeks. Okay. See, I didn't even notice that. So. The, re the reason I'm asking is I know there was discussion, um, Adelia, of putting it by you. And just if it goes somewhere, let Ashley know, because Ashley, I would love to update social media with, you know, come see it here, come see it there. Right. As it <laughs> have you, have you seen town. the sign? Yeah, no, I, I think that's a cute idea. As, as it moves, um, I can, I can mm. go scout it out and get a photo and, and post it. Yeah, Maybe so just even people volunteering to, to host it. Right, right. Because I think once we start, then maybe people say, Oh, I want to do that. Uh, so Allison, if I can put it on you, since you are currently the keeper of it to let Ashley know of its next home, and then well, well it's got it's got a string of lights out right now that needs to be fixed somehow. And uh, mm -hmm. once that's done, I think Melissa was going to let Adelia know that it's available to go to her place. Okay, fine. I, I have an idea on that idea on um, something we could do if we did do the house decorating thing on social media, we could um, have a hashtag have people post their own photos and put it under the hashtag and then we could have people like you know have people go back and like other people's photos and make it a contest and then maybe offer a small prize or something for whoever gets the most likes on their decorations on their house and it makes it more interactive Ooh. in this way it's not on allison i mean sorry on um, ashley to post everything it's everybody does their own 
So, you know, you could, you could have it on Facebook and Instagram. You could have it both places and just whoever gets the most likes, then there's some kind of a prize. I don't know, something small, but um, it's a just- A milk bottle. <laughs> <laughs> what I really like about that idea is that drives traffic because let's say I put a display on my house and I want people to vote for it. So I get all my friends to sign up for our Facebook page so, just so they could like me. Right, right. It gets more people involved. I right, but that. Yeah. it just puts all the more work on everybody does their own thing. So it, it just populates so much quicker too. Okay. It's just a suggestion. And we're not having to vote. I'm sorry? What? We're not, we're not going to be responsible for voting for the best house or whatever. Right. Well, no, it's, it's, just, your... it's just for fun. It's just yeah. for fun. Yeah. I mean, yeah, Ashley, so... is that workable? I think it's definitely workable. I think it's a great idea. Um, I, I think, to work um, with you on that, Ashley. Yeah, I would love that, Lisa. I, I think um, I want to think about how much forewarning to give people. Um, so maybe at our next, mm. what is it, February, March, April? I think if we announce it in March, that gives people like a month's head up, heads up. I think that would be appropriate. Mm. So and maybe that's something else that can be put in the scoop. Right. If we can get this organized by February 23rd, on February 24th, I am delivering to Joyce an article. Joyce, save us a spot. I will save you a spot. <laughs> um, but if we want to get it in the scoop, I need it by the 23rd. All right. Lisa, I'll, I'll, I'll shoot you an email and we can see if we can kind of figure out the, the, mm. the nitty gritty. And if anyone has suggestions for a prize, we're, we'll be all ears. Yeah, I'd be happy to help you with that. I've done a similar thing and it worked out really well. So, Do we have a spare piece of pottery? That's what I was wondering if it, we could do pottery. Mm. Hey, we got a lot of those milk bottles, so, you know, that's... There's no spare pottery at the moment. Okay. There is no spare pottery? Correct. The order, you know, right now we're if the... The orders we have, you know, taken in and compiled the list and the potter has had to have surgery. He's not going to be doing anything for some time, but um, he's agreed to, you know, he'll fulfill the orders that we have, but I'm not sure going forward how much more he will, he's willing to do at this point. How about pro the original prototypes? Because there were some that we didn't opt for. Um, yeah, I'd have to check with the chairman, with Nancy on on that, chairman of that committee. Okay, yeah, because if there's a piece that we could offer, to me that feels like the perfect thing and it does not have to be one of the pieces that's for sale. Mm. If you don't mind checking with Nancy, if that's an option. All right. Okay. Good, other thoughts? We got a lot done tonight. Our next meeting is March 8th. Um, anything anybody wants for the scoop? I need it by the 23rd, so Joyce has it by the 24th. Any other thoughts, John? If there's anything that you need in the meantime, give a shout. We don't have to wait until March 8th. We can <coughs> grab people as we need them because okay. we wanna give you whatever support you need to make this a success. Okay. Thank you, everybody. This was incredibly productive. Thank you, Susan. Okay. Keep Stay it safe. Work. Thank you. Take care. Have a good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Stay safe.